Welcome. Uh, in this video we're going to um, follow this R code from this instructional table or uh, file uh, to perform a t-test on multiple uh, variables, multiple dependent variables. As we scroll down you can see the source. This is a link to where I found this t-apply and then uh, one of the data tables that we'll apply it to, and then a couple of YouTube videos uh, that uh, helped me put this together. So first we are going to type in this initial line in R. Just pull it to the side a little bit. So uh, the first note here is the table name that you're going to give the table when you pull it in. I'm going to use GBM for glioblastoma, which is the, the data set that we were uh, playing with uh, on this task, equals read.csv, which is the format of the file uh, that I saved it in from Excel. Then we're going to put in file choose dot c h o o s c open close parentheses comma header equals uppercase T for true. So what this is going to do is going to pop open the window uh, browser to find the file. You see it come up here and I'm just going to go to my R files and I'm going to pull in first the glioblastoma uh, CSV. We'll come back and get the GBM later. Now I'm just clicking on the open button in that browser. So our table is now there. If we type in the table name GBM, that shows us the table. We want to attach it, GBM. I'm not exactly certain what that is, but the instructors, uh, the instructions that I found <laughs> said make sure you attach the table. Uh, we can have it list the column names, GBM. Again, that's the uh, table name. So those are our, that's our header row. And um, this next part uh, was uh, from something else that I was attempting to do. You can uh, ignore that basically. But here's what we see now uh, from what we've put in so far. Just quickly to review. We pulled in, uh, we opened our file, we went to look for it. It had a header row as you see here and we named it GBM. Then we typed in the table name and we got to see the entire table and then uh, attached it and then we uh, did names to see the uh, column headers. <clears throat> and you can see that PXK is the last one there and PXK is the last one here. So now what we're going to do is type in uh, by open parentheses and this information. This uh, uh, is, uh, I'm not remembering the name of it right now. Uh, this key is, uh, should be a comma like the ones below. Uh, just a couple of uh, errors in the table that I distributed, but we fixed them here quite quickly. So by open parentheses table name GBM dollar sign and then um, any one of our gene titles we can use here. I'm going to use DDR1 <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is a common way of uh, identifying in R uh, to go look at in this table. You might have more than one table there, so you've got to tell it which one to look in. And the dollar sign lets R know that you're going to designate the column in the table. So it says go look in this table up above uh, and find this column, the DDR1. And then comma. And then we are going to do the table name and then the treatment group to separate it out. There are two treatment groups, group A and group B. So we're now going to tell it that. And again, the comma, not this uh, tidule, or I've forgotten what it's called, uh, GBM dollar sign, TRT, GRP, and then comma, mean, and then that gives us the mean for treatment group A and treatment group B for the gene 
column that we identified, right? So it's showing us the mean of the first five of these numbers versus the second five, A and B. And as you see in the instructions, you can do that for the standard deviation. Length will give you the, um, the sample size, the N. And now what we're going to do is we're going to type in this for the t-test. What I was hoping to do is run a t-test that would compare A to B for every one of these genes without having to type it in all the time. So this is the first thing that I discovered. t.test, open parentheses. Um, so variable is referring to the gene, and I get this mixed up as we go through the instructional table, but hopefully we can uh, make sense of it as we go. Uh, and the, the last thing that we put in is the treatment group uh, with these commands. So t-test, uh, gbm, table name, dollar sign, ddr1, tilde, and then table name, gbm, dollar sign, trt, grp, and close parentheses. So that did a t-test just on those. This is a review of what we had done before. So we, did, we see the t-test value, degrees of freedom, the p-value. Right? The alternative hypothesis, true difference of means is not equal to 0, 95% confidence interval shown here. Crosses uh, uh, includes 0, uh, so it's not significant. And then here's our means. Okay. Um, and then I found, let me just move this aside here. Uh, I made another table, as you see down here, restructured it uh, as uh, gene as a column, and then A and B, and then e the gene name was repeated for each of the five uh, values uh, that was assigned to it. So this is uh, the value for uh, sam gene 1, sample 1, in uh, treatment group A. And so we'll, we'll uh, if time allows, we'll go through the same exercise with a different table. But what I'm going to do is put in this uh, set of commands here uh, to uh, run our initial table to see how it won't work properly on that one. So I'm going to type in T apply open parentheses, one colon, n row, open, table name, gbbm, close parentheses, comma, gbm, dollar sign, uh, trt, grp. So this is where we are now. And then comma, function, open parentheses, R, close parentheses, then hit return, and you can see in the bottom right over here, as well as right here, we get a, a plus sign. Now we type in this, t dot test, whoops, test, open parentheses, gbm, dollar sign, and I didn't hit the dollar sign, <laughs> gbm, dollar sign, uh, and a gene, DDR1, and then open square brackets, open square bracket R, close square bracket, and then we can put uh, a comma in there, table name, and then another gene, dollar sign, I'll put the PXK in there, comma, and we have to uh, put the R, so open square, R, close square, the R, just type that in, and then comma, and then paired equals false, because these are not paired comparisons. P-A-I-R-E-D equals false. Close parentheses, close parentheses. So that's what I have typed in. And when I hit enter, what did I do wrong? Oh, I put the comma after this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to edit. Push up arrow. I get my last entry. But what I need to do is go up one more 
to get my first entry up here, hit enter, I'm back on this line where I had the error, hit the up arrow, come back, whoops, up arrow one more time, and remove this comma here. I hit end one at the end of the line. There we go. So what we got was uh, A comparing the two genes. So it averaged A for DDR1 and for the PXK and compared those two to each other. And then it did the same thing for B, DDR1, and that isn't what we want it to do. We want it to compare A to B, but do it for all of these uh, t-tests, these genes that we have on our list here. So what's wrong is our table is set up inappropriately. So now what we're going to do is go back, and we've got five minutes to do the recording. We should be able to fit it in, so I'm going to type in this line here. And I'm going to bring in the, so I'm just going to call this table G. So I just typed in G equals read.csv file dot choose open close parentheses comma header equals uppercase T true. So that's, so I'm naming this table G. I don't want to use the same one because GVM is in there. And brings us back here. Go to my R files and find GBM and type in G. And now we see the table. Okay, that's like the table in the background you see back here, where the gene we have a gene column and the gene title is listed five times for our five samples in A and B. So now when we write type in the same t test. You know, we can do the, all the other uh, commands, but I want to go straight to the, the t-test one. And so it's going to run a t-test on all of these comparing A to B, right? Rather than gene 1 to gene 2 for A and then for B, it's now going to do this gene comparing A to B. So the data table had to be set up properly for this particular command that we're using. So here's what I do. Up arrow, up arrow up arrow, up arrow. Alright, so I'm back to here. I just need to change my table name to G. Table name here to G. And it's not TRT GRP anymore. Gene is the column that we want to use, right? I'm telling it to go to table G and look in the column Gene. Now we hit enter. I'm just going to hit N to go to the end of the line. Hit enter. Got our plus sign, up arrow, up arrow, up arrow, up arrow. I gotta change it to just using the left arrow to come back here to G. And then this is A, right? Our columns are A and B now. A. Table name is G. And I'm changing this to B. And everything else is the same. Just hit N to go to the end of the line. Now when I hit it, I get a t-test result for every one of my genes in the table. So there's the command. Here's DDR1. Did the Welch 2 sample, right? Comparing A to B. Here's our t-score, degrees of freedom, the p-value, not significant. Um, confidence interval. Right, so this is the same result that we saw up above when we ran the, the uh, t-test just on this one gene. But now we have it for every gene afterward, not significant. HSPA6, not significant. PACS, not significant. RFC2, could be significant, uh, except that we are doing multiple t-tests. We set our alpha at p less than 0.05, and I don't know, maybe were we doing 20 of these? So we'd have to divide uh, 0 0.05 by 20, um, which would be um, a lot less than this, right? Uh, 0.025, did I do that correctly, or should there be another zero in there? 
so uh, we'd have to have p this value would have to be less than 0 0.0025 and that isn't even close so that's not significant not significant